Hey guys, how are you? Nice survival. Today we got a Buck 119 classic knife from Buck Knives. <clears throat> this knife goes way, way back. Probably one of the best knife designs for big game hunting. Around a six and a half inch blade. It's got a nice clip point blade for piercing. Piercing through animal hides. It's got a nice up sweep right here for uh, skinning out game. Classic, classic knife. Look at the lines on that. On that knife. Beautiful knife. This particular knife I've had for a very long time. Believe it or not, this is a 1986 build. Yes, I did receive this knife new, so it's been a little while. Never used. It's been sitting in my knife box for a very long time. Beautiful knife. You can get these knives from... Uh, from Buck Custom Shop in almost any configuration. You can get these in S30V steel. You can get them without the blood groove. You can get them with the, these are aluminum pommel, pommel. You can get them in brass. You can get the handle materials. This is a phenolic, a black phenolic. I think that's how you pronounce it. You can get this in stag. You can get it in uh, Coca Bola wood, you can get bone, you can pretty much anything, any type handles. I mean, this knife is absolutely gorgeous, especially when it, the ones with the polished blades, absolutely beautiful. It's got to be one of the uh, classic, one of the most classic knife designs out there. I've seen this knife in many, many movies before. Just to give you a size comparison. They also have an, another knife, a Buck 120 that's longer. Here's a uh, 110 for comparison. This is like a, a three and three quarter inch blade folder. There's another classic. Oop, we'll be doing a, uh, we'll be visiting this soon. This also comes in many, many different types of flavors. I'm going to bring in another knife here for comparison. This is an Ontario. Knife Company, a Rat 7. Let's give you a comparison with that. Blades. This is a 7 inch blade. Like I said, I think this is a 6 inch blade. Yeah. The knife steals on these, uh, on the regular 119s. Today, they make them out of a 420 HC steel. This is actually a 425 steel. And to give you a quick rundown of the history of the steels, back in the 70s, they were using a 440A. Or no, it wasn't a 4. It's a 440C steel. And a lot, of the, a lot of the guys would argue that was one of the best steels out of the basic steels that they, that they used. This knife, in around 82, I think it was, they went to a, a 125M steel, which is another variant in the stainless steel family. And in about 92, they switched over to a 420HC. So with the, with the boss hardening that they use on the buck knives... They actually get a Rockwell hardness of 58 on these steels. So, look at that. Just to give you a good shot. This is the only one I have. I don't have a newer one. I don't have an older one. Uh, some of the other knives I have, I have a couple different generations that we can kind of just like I like when it catches the light there. So there you go, man. Cl classic Buck 119 on the table today. We're going to bring in its little brother. 
and the rat for one last look. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Take it easy.